One of the things I really enjoy doing with a 3D printer is making custom organizers for things. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I organize my main camera gear. Using some really basic 3D modeling and my trusted 3D printers. I'm going to show all the steps that went into this and I'll also show where things didn't go quite according to plan. So if you're looking for some inspiration to get organized, this might be the video for you. So at the minute, I've got this shelf that holds my CPU and some other items. And as you can see, the underside of the shelf is pretty much unused. And I figured this would be a great spot to use. Then I had to decide what gear I'm actually going to store in this container. I decided to go for my most used items, which are my three lenses, some batteries and some SD cards. So with all the items ready, the first step was to take some really accurate measurements using my digital calipers and this will help the modelling process in Fusion. Here's the final design that I ended up with and I'll just walk you guys through it. So firstly we've got this sort of mounting plate here and as you can see I've built in some dovetail joints because I'm planning to print this in parts. We've got four screw holes, this is going to help me screw this plate into the, onto the underside of the shelf. And then more dovetail joints into which these attachments will slide. So we've got spaces for three camera lenses, three batteries and three SD cards. And now we're going to go ahead and take this into slicer and hopefully we can get this printed in a reasonable amount of time. And with the model prepared, it was a case of getting it imported into Prusa Slicer and then sending it off to the printers. So at this point, I was feeling pretty good about the way things were going, but as is often the case, things didn't go according to plan. These are some of the first prints that came off and we've run into a couple of issues. So firstly, if I take one of these batteries, I must have got the measurements wrong somewhere, but there's way too much space around the battery. That's just going to fall out. I had a more snug fit in mine and that's not it. So we're going to have to go ahead and adjust the space I made for that. And secondly, if you have a look over here, the dovetail join between the lens mount and the mounting plate is it's just a bit too lax for my liking and there's not enough friction. So we're going to go ahead and tighten up that offset as well and then go ahead and print round two. After jumping back into Fusion and making a couple of adjustments to the sketch, it was time for round two. And with all the prints off the plate, it was just a very simple case of snapping all the pieces together to get the finished product. The next step was to make sure that the camera lenses, the batteries and the SD cards also fitted as I had planned. And now all that was left to do was to securely fix this onto the shelf. This was a really straightforward process. When I initially made the design in Fusion, I built in four screw holes. So just a simple case of using appropriately sized screws to fix the print onto the underside of the shelf. At this point, I was really happy with the way this was all coming together, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you think this project could have been made better, or if there's any further things you think we could add.
And here's the finished product guys. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It looks pretty cool. It was fairly easy to make. And most importantly, it does the job in a simple way. Now, my main camera gear finally has a dedicated spot for storage when it's not being used. And in a small way, I'm hoping this will help me make better projects in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to check out this video where I make a subscriber counter for my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.